I'm Harry Hutchins. And I'm Leticia Hutchins. And we're the owners at Alma Coffee. And today we're going to be doing the Alma Autocomplete interview. All right, you ready for the first question? Mm -hmm. What makes Alma Coffee sustainable? Do you want me to start? Go ahead. Awesome. So I think one of my favorite facts um, about the farm and how we use coffee byproducts in just our regular day-to-day -day processes is Coscara, the dried coffee cherry husk. Now you may be familiar with this product from our retail store. It's a drinkable, very delicious tea that you can purchase um, off our website. But the bulk of that cascara that isn't processed for consumption is actually used as organic fertilizer across the farm. So that's one of my favorite fun um, sustainable practices at the farm. Yeah, one that I actually think is also really cool is another byproduct that comes from the processing of the coffee cherries is the mucilage, or we call the honey product, mm. the honey that comes off that cherry when we're uh, depulping it. Yeah. We'll actually take that, collect that very acidic honey, uh, and actually use it, use it as organic pesticide. Yeah, that's a great fact. All right, ready for the second question? Let's do it. Let's see it. What makes Alma coffee? Ooh, environmentally friendly. Easy. I think for my first one would actually be, for a lot of you who um, have gotten our coffees online or shipped to you, you'll notice that it comes in recycled mailers. Um, one, that recycled mailer is environmentally friendly right there, and with using less weight for the packaging, you're actually able to reduce um, the uh, carbon footprint as it's being shipped. And maximize storage here in the warehouse, so that's awesome. Another fun environmentally friendly fact is that we roast on Loring Smart Roasters, and according to Loring, they emit 80% less emissions than their counterparts. So that's a really big deal and one of the main factors as to why we decided to go with Loring for our roasting equipment. Nice. What makes Alma Coffee freshly yeah. roasted? Ooh, so what makes it freshly roasted, Harry? I think it's an obvious one. I mean, we roast to order. There is no inventory. We don't hold anything. Mm -hmm. It's when it's ordered, that's when we're roasting up. So, um, you know, once it's roasted, it's going to be out of here uh, in less than 30 hours. Yeah, that is very true. So we roast fresh every single day, seven days a week, and we ship out Monday through Friday. So no matter when you place your order, whether it's in store or online, it's always going to be fresh. And that really is something we're proud of. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. What makes Alma Coffee? Organic. Organic. Well, according to our certification, we're organic, right? Yeah, exactly. At the, At the farm, yeah. we're organic. Um, so the way that we process as well as with the inputs that we put at the farm, mm -hmm. um, make it organic every single year we're um, audited mm -hmm. to make sure that we're upholding those standards. Yeah, and this also ties back to that organic pesticide. You know, we have a very mountainous terrain at our coffee farms. So whenever we go to de-weed and make sure that everything is looking good, we're actually doing it by hand because we can't use any chemicals for our organic certification. So it's a really big deal. It's not just what we put in the soil, what we put in our plants, but it's how we treat our employees, um, the rest areas that we have, and just how we care for the actual plot of land itself. So it's way beyond just no pesticides. And we are really proud to be organic certified at the farms. Last question, what makes Alma Coffee Extraordinary. I would say it's beyond just that coffee that is good. You know, a lot of places can do good coffee, but not very many places can do good coffee for um, the world, the earth, mm. as well as the folks that are being impacted by it. And I think that's what Alma does, not only here in the US, um, with having just very fresh, um, really great coffee, but then a coffee that really makes a difference, especially in producing countries like Honduras, where our farms are. At. Yeah, that's the key. So we always say direct trade, direct impact, right? So your purchase does have a direct impact on coffee farmers. And just like most products, you may not think of where they come from. And we really want to break down that barrier for you to see the faces of the coffee farmers, know their story, know where your coffee is coming from, and know that it's not just a cup of coffee. Just a cup of coffee is actually impacting someone that's, you know, a couple miles away in another country. So that's what makes all the coffee really special and extraordinary. Sweet. I mean, I'm glad people are searching this stuff. I mean, I think yeah. it's really cool, especially for a company that's been around since 2018, mm -hmm. um, really pushing to have sustainability as our front of mind. I think it's really cool. Yeah, so. I love that this is the main thing people are looking up is just about our story and our impact and the difference because at the end of the day, that's why we started all, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. To make an impact, I agree. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for watching. If you like content like this and learning more about what we do here at All the Coffee, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment telling us what you want to see next.
See you guys.